In this video, I'm going to share with you how to customize your QuickBooks Online invoices, discover how you can have a little bit of flexibility on the appearance of how you want your invoices to look. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Our first uh, requirement basically is to get to the custom form styles. Now there's a lot of different ways you can get there. I'm here by clicking on the gear icon and then selecting custom form styles. This will take you here. This is going to give you the standard default, which comes with QuickBooks. And then if you have other invoices that you've created that are on this appearance here, you can edit individual ones here. So my recommendation is if you start off with the standard one, edit the standard one, get that exactly how you want it to be as kind of like the master one. And then if you've got more than one QuickBooks user that wants to use different appearances of quick uh, invoicing, you can build out other ones. And you can see on the top right hand corner, we have new style and there's one for an invoice an estimate and a sales receipt. So all three of these forms, they are different. You know, I can create an invoice that will have a different uh, style to it. I can create an estimate um, as well. And so we would, we would just be want to work on those scenarios there. Now, the other option that you have is while you're in an invoice, you can definitely come down to the bottom and click on the customize button. And from here, it will let you know, it's very important, it will let you know which one do you have selected. So it's very easy to uh, send an invoice out and not realize uh, which option you have selected. So be aware of that. Definitely be aware of that. So if I were to click Edit Current, it would be editing the progress invoicing template here. Uh, if I switched it to standard and I come back here and I can see I'm under the standard one, click edit, then that's going to take me uh, straight into customizing the standard uh, one here. Okay. So I'm going to work uh, backwards from right to left. I'm going to start with emails. And on the emails, you have the ability to have a default message if you are using QuickBooks as the email editor. You have a default here with a variety of different settings here and reminder uh, emails as well. How you would like to, to see those kind of notes there. Also, we have how you would like your invoice to appear in full details or summarized details. Uh, so full details versus summarized. This is summarized. This is full details. We're going to have things broken out. In other words, if your invoice has 10 line items, down below, you'd have 10 items here. If, it, if you want it all rolled up, you would do that. Okay. So you can modify the invoice estimate sales receipt messaging here. All right, next, content. So we can click on the top part, which is called the source. We can click on the middle section, which is called the targets. And we can click in the bottom where we have the, uh, the footer and the, the summary totals there for. So I'm going to start with clicking on the top part. And what we see here is the ability to manage um, how you would like to have in the header section, whether you want address forms, all that, you'd have that information here. Then on the form itself, you have the appearance of how you would like it to be displayed, invoice estimate, uh, you know, some folks might want to call this a quote. Some people, customers like to see, hey, send me a quote. And so you can change it to here, quote, as well. Credit memos, form numbers, okay. And then uh, further down, we have display. We can have shipping turned on or off, the terms turned on or off, the due date, expiration date setting here. And then with custom fields, uh, depending what version of QuickBooks you have, you'll have more opportunities with custom fields as you uh, advance in your um, versions. Okay, so QuickBooks Advance, you have a full gamut of custom fields. QuickBooks Simple Start, not so much. You don't have as much uh, options there. Okay, so then 
I'm in the middle section here. This is helpful here, edit labels. So sometimes you want to get very particular as far as notice how you can slide things around where things are going to kind of fit. And so there's more options in here to manage on it. And then at the bottom in the footer area, we can put notes at the footer text that you'd like to have. Uh, maybe for, I've seen in the footer section, I've seen some, you know, display text here, maybe a company vision or mission statement come in here. Maybe some information on a sales rep phone number or, or different scenarios that that could be different for each one. So that is our footer area. And then now I'm going to start on the design tab and let's take a look at the six styles that you have. So these are the six different styles. Okay. Once you pick one, then you can get into the logo edits. And so logo can be large, medium, or small. It can be on the left, middle, or right side. And then we have colors. So you can bring in your own color palette to match your logo or pick up one of the defaults here. With the fonts, we have just, I guess, four choices here at this point of time here size and then the print settings all that your margin all that get really specific in there so that's it that's how you can create a custom invoice when you're done um, you would have the ability to hit done okay and then that would roll up into that scenario there so let me open up a an old invoice here and if I want to see how this is going to look, I can click print or print preview. And I can see that information uh, right there. Awesome. Now, if I was wanting to use a different style, I would just hit customize. And if I've built more than one invoice style, I would just switch it out. And then go back into print, print, print. Anytime you hit print or preview, it's it saves saves it and then it will get you into it all right so you can see this is a different style and it's got that footer i was just messing around with to show you that information right there down here hope you guys uh, like this video here uh, be sure to send me a question if you have one at steve chase at sequential use the link in this video description below for um, the best discount that you can get with QuickBooks. I've got a promotional discount that will get you at the time it's 30% off for your next 12 months. So that is something you want to take advantage of. If you're thinking about creating a brand new QuickBooks online account, that's the best discount you're going to get out there, I believe. And I um, hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like this video.